So I went to go see Transcendence. It's directed by Wally Pfister, and he's not really been in the director's seat before, but in the past he has been either the director of photography or the lead cinematographer on almost all of Christopher Nolan's films. It stars Johnny Depp, Rebecca Hall, Paul Bettany, and a little bit of Morgan Freeman, and um, it's not really what I was expecting, I have to say. So on the one hand, this movie's more than I was expecting, because I was just expecting big, dumb, fun, summer, sci-fi, action, thriller, based on the trailers. And that's not what I saw. It's really just a straight-up sci-fi thriller. There's not all that many action beats in the film. And it's really trying to ask some fun questions. It's dealing with neat sci-fi concepts of transhumanism, singularity, what's the nature of an actual person, are we, are we just the electrical impulses, is there a soul, things like that. And um, it, it really tries to delve into them. It's not completely successful at, at its attempts, but, but it tries, and I, I like when a film honestly attempts to deal with issues or deal with neat concepts. Then on the disappointing side, I was expecting better performances from these folks. I mean, okay, Morgan Freeman was Morgan Freeman, just like he's been in most films recently. Uh, Paul Bettany, though, he was just kind of there, he took up space. I know he can do better than he, than he is in this film. Uh, Johnny Depp, he just, it really came across like he was phoning it in. I, in his defense, he is playing uh, computer AI for most of the film, but you can give a nuanced performance of, of, a, of a flat character, you know, just in the face and your delivery, and it, you don't have to play over-the-top wacky or nothing. There's, there's, there's a level in between, and I know he can do it, he just didn't in this one. Um, Rebecca Hall, actually, she did a fantastic job. She really conveyed her emotions. She made me sort of believe she felt what her character was supposed to feel. But she was the only one in this film that really sold me on her character. And, as I said, these, char these actors can do so much better than they did in this film. And, you know, without even trying, they can do better than they did in this film. And it's just kind of disappointing. I, I, was, I was hoping for something more there. And then there's the plot, the story, the important bit. Like I said, this film tries to deal with interesting sci-fi issues, and, like, what makes the, the nature of a, of a human, like, what brings sentience to us. Is there such a thing as a soul? But it just lacks any real focus. It, it goes everywhere. There's three real plot lines going through this movie, and it jumps around, and it, it just, just doesn't focus on any of them enough to build up. Even a real main character, an antagonist, a protagonist, just it's just there. Um, like, you know, part of it is, is dealing with Johnny Depp and Rebecca Hall's characters, and um, how she's dealing with, you know, him being the, the crazy AI, uh, and then there's, there's Paul Bettany, uh, Paul Bettany's character, who's their friend who gets kidnapped by radicals, and then there's Morgan Freeman and his, uh, him being the, the sort of crony to the, to the government and sort of putting up with their stupid ideas, and it's just, it's just all over the place is what I'm saying. And almost more than that, uh, for a sci-fi movie, and, and this does pop up in sci-fi movies, but um, everyone in this movie is just a gigantic, complete gigantic moron. Uh, that's, that's really just complete idiots. They make all the problems, and they make all the problems worse, and just by jumping to conclusions, um, you know, trying to it's, it's just kind of infuriating. And I, I imagine that's partly the point. People acting on fear without like having all the facts in front of them cause more problems than they solve. And, and yes, but it's just... It just angers me when I see that sort of thing going on. Just like it does in real life, I, I, I have a problem with it in movies too, so that kind of bugged me. I will say that hands down, without caveat, this film looked good, as expected from a director who's previously been an Academy Award-winning cinematographer. It was just a pretty well-shot, just enjoyable to watch visually film. Everything looked really good, and um, that's, that's all I'm going to say there. Just pretty, pretty film. Of course, the question is, do I think anyone should watch this movie? And honestly, 
Maybe. Uh, I liked it. I thought it was fun. Uh, nothing spectacular, but it was it was a decent movie. You know, it, it falls more on the enjoyed side than not enjoyed for all my quibbles and complaints. Um, it's not perfect. It has some issues. But if you like films that deal with uh, concepts and ideas more for the sake of conversation afterwards than specifically how the film deals with them, you're going to get a lot of fun ones here. It deals with a lot of near future-ish things, um, although it does veer, uh, veer a little bit into the realm of science fantasy towards the end, particularly. Um, and then, if you like science fiction visuals, if you, if you just like the science fiction-y aspects of a film, this film certainly has a lot of them, and they're fun ones, and they're dealt with interestingly. On the other hand, if you want a really solid story with an interesting, satisfying ending, this film is not for you. It's just incredibly unfocused in its storytelling, and then the ending has this weird open ending that that's, just doesn't feel satisfying after the film that you just watched. It's... it just feels lazy more than anything else as far as storytelling goes, and also to an extent as far as the acting goes, because as I said, just the one actress in this film who gave a really solid performance um, so, depending, you may or may not want to see this one in the theaters. If nothing else, you know, it is worth a quick, you know, stop on HBO or, or DVD or something like that, Netflix, when it comes out there. But um, it's nothing that you have to go out and see just right now. It's decent, but uh, not spectacular. Anyway, if you saw it or if you didn't, please let me know what you thought, and uh, until next time, folks, enjoy film.